Welcome back, guys. Yeah, always be sure to leave a comment if you've any of this video. Also, be sure to check my other channel, YC Games. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. So, we are back talking about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, a game I am super excited for and cannot wait for just any information on it. And shortly after I posted my last video, uh, just a few days actually, they posted a few more videos on their official channel and posted a few more screenshots on the official Tiny Tina or Play Wonderlands website, whatever it's called. And so yeah, that's what this video is going to be over. Going over those screenshots, doing a few more discussions, talking about what I already got wrong in the one video I made about this game, and that's what's in store. So let's just dive right in. So let's start off with these screenshots. Now honestly, there really isn't a whole lot to say here, but it's more Wonderlands content, and like I said, everything about this game I'm just excited to see and excited to talk about, so that's what I'm going to do. Starting off with this castle scene, honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about it. In an interview with Matt Cox, the creative director, uh, he talked about it a little bit and emphasized how they were on to, like, I don't know, combine traditional fantasy elements with the castle and whatnot with Tiny Tina's creative imagination. I'm assuming that's, like, what the rope bridges are supposed to be, but this is not crazy as Tiny Tina's imagination, so honestly... Him to say that at this screenshot's a little disappointing, but hopefully the other maps actually look a little better. I don't know. This is just a weird thing to actually show off. They definitely got the medieval setting right. Like, there's definitely a cool looking castle, and I like the rope bridge. I like that kind of verticality, which is awesome, but is not a good representation of Tiny Tina's mind. Next up, we got this pretty cool looking dragon or wave, wavern, wyvern. I don't know, I'm not big in the middle of fantasy. I saw one person refer to it as wyvern, but when I downloaded the picture, it said like dragon or something, dragon JPEG. So I I'm just going to call it a dragon. Uh, not really much to say. Just, yeah, that looks like a dragon or wyvern, whatever one. It's got chains on it, so that's cool. Probably has some kind of owner, which I'll get into in the next picture. What I'm really excited for for this picture is in the background. That's a really cool looking environment. Now starting off with that kind of, you know, eh, okay castle environment. This looks a lot cooler. This is, you know, some kind of like weird just city, like made in a cave, got awesome bridges going from like platform to platform. I really enjoy that kind of layout in any game. So yeah, that makes me a little more excited, honestly, than the last environmental shot we got. Just looking at all those different structures and just how crudely made they are. Clearly this is some kind of enemy's base. I love it. I like. I'm excited. Yes. Next up, we got this guy, which according to the uh, interview with the creative director, Matt Cox, he referred to him as the Tyrant or Dragon Lord. So presumably this would be the guy that has the last picture, that, that dragon in chains. Uh, not really a whole lot to say. I mean, just, yeah, that looks like a pretty badass enemy to go up against got a sweet fire sword definitely some magic stuff going on with his left hand and that, that's all I was to say except I guess the environment he's in is definitely not the same as the last time as the last picture so while I'm assuming he's like kind of the master of those dragons clearly they don't reside in the same spot this is somewhere else and that's all there really is to say just cool looking picture cool looking dude definitely excited to see what his deal is as the actual bad guy. So here we got pretty cool looking like goblin fortress mountain. This is a pretty neat environment and just shows that we got goblins in the game. Not not really too much to say here. If we really want to get speculative I guess I could say that this is probably the entrance to the cave with all those dragons in it but that's just a shot in the dark. There's nothing much to say. Looks cool though. And the final one of these screenshots, we got this cool-looking crypt with some skeleton enemies. Standard knight, cool-looking armor, and a wizard in the background. Purple glowing eyes, that's pretty neat. It really, just kind of like all these, they don't really show us much because we knew it was a fantasy thing. So, yeah, it's fantasy. You're going to have reanimated skeletons, you're going to have magic, you're going to have dragons. Like... None of these screenshots really show us much, but it is kind of cool that at least we're getting some more information. So I'm excited for kind of the next dump like this. Hopefully we'll see a little more unique to Borderlands things. 
like maybe some cool new gun designs because it is still going to be a shooter. They said that. So, yeah, while this is all well and good, and definitely some cool things to get excited for, there's really not much to say. It's just, it's more fantasy stuff, which is awesome. I'm, I love that setting. I'm excited for it. But there's nothing much more I can say about it. So, just real quick, a couple things I got wrong in the one video. It, these are all speculations anyway, so, you know, it's fun to predict things. I'm going to get things wrong. If I get anything right, it's really more of a miracle. But already things that I have been proven wrong on are how I said that the four names shown sound like they're going to be our Vault Hunters. Now, that may still be the case, but it seems highly unlikely now that they're talking about uh, fully customizable characters. So, it seems like blank a blank slate. And what really pushes that is how they said their uh, multi-classing will be a thing, which is awesome. That's so fun to do in any game. Now, whether that be kind of like the Borderlands style of multi-classing S, where you still have your main skill trees, but you can usually get all the way through two of them, that's kind of like multi-classing, but it sounds like it's going to be a fully individual, fully customizable character, like Blank Slate, and then you can custom class and multi-class from there, which is awesome. But that means that we probably won't have those four names that they showed off as the voice actors for our Vault Hunters. And that's unfortunate because I was really looking forward to playing as Will Arnett. <laughs> I, I just really enjoy everything he's in. And honestly, all of them. Ashley Birch, like Tiny Tina would be so fun to play as. Uh, Wanda Sykes, she has such a unique and fun voice. She'd also be really fun to hear her voice throughout. And Andy Samberg, obviously, also really funny guy, really cool voice. So, honestly, any of those characters I would have loved to play as. So, it kind of sucks that it sounds like they're being more sidelined NBCs, but hopefully they're all heavily involved. I don't know. This is still just speculation. They might still be our Vault Hunters, just they're just the voices where everything else is just a blank slate. Like, they have their voice lines and personalities, but it, who knows? Maybe we can just go from there. I doubt we're going to have Vault Hunter abilities like we have seen in the other games, which was my original prediction, which is why it's in this section of Things Proven Wrong, because it does not seem like that's going to happen anymore. So that about does it for this one. Uh, there really isn't much more to say on this information. Now there's lots I could do as far as wild speculation, and I'd love to do that if you guys are interested in hearing that. If you guys have your own crazy theories, let me know down in the comments. I'll highlight them, and you'll kind of give my take on whatever you have to say. Uh, but yeah, if we get more, any more information, I'll go ahead and put another video talking about it, talk about my thoughts, my feelings, whatever. Uh, but yeah, until then, I guess... God. Yeah, remember the world doesn't know anything, but keep your stick on the ice. We're all in this together. See you in the next one. Bye.